In this video, we're going to be looking at adding the same attachment to a notification every time it sends. So I have a article up on my blog uh, with the instructions on how to do this. And this video is basically just going to follow uh, these instructions. So let's head over to ServiceNow. And uh, the so sometimes you get a requirement where you need to send the same attachment every time uh, a notification sends. If we go to the notifications, and I have one up here, a sample, uh, you'll notice that out of the box, there is a field here, include attachments. And if you mouse over the label, you get the message, send all attachments from the triggering record as email attachments. So uh, checking this, we'll take uh, any attachments that are attached to the incident record and include them in the email that goes out. Uh, but sometimes we just have a single attachment, a form or something like that, that we need to send out uh, every time. And so I, I've seen, uh, and I was tempted to do this myself, uh, I've seen folks attach a, rec uh, put an attachment onto here, and then wonder why the heck it's not uh, going out when, when the notification sends. Uh, because out of the box, putting an attachment on this record, on the notification record, doesn't do anything. So what we're going to look at is um, adding this checkbox here, include attachments from this notification record, uh, in order to include any attachments that might be attached to this record, to this notification record. So the first step is to simply create a field on the notification record, uh, on the notification table rather. And uh, it's a true false field uh, where you check the box. Uh, I usually add it to the default, uh, not to the default view, to the advanced view. So when you first go in here, you get the default view Right, and that uh, kind of simplifies things. You don't see a lot of the fields. Uh, so you have to do advanced view and then stick your uh, true false uh, field over here. Now, once that's done, you head over to the sys email log table. And you go in here and you go to the uh, business rules and you create a new business rule you can call it uh, include attachment from this notif record or anything you want it's a after business rule so again you have to actually yeah you have to click the advanced in order to see some of these options so it's a when it's an after business rule because we want it after this log a record is created uh, it's done on insert only. And then in the filter conditions, we're going to go and look for that field in the notification. So this table, and let's just back up a second. This table is the table that links the, whoops. This table links, go back here, links the, and let me sort by created because I already did a few tests. So it links the email um, with the notification and possibly the event as well. Uh, so uh, for these, uh, right, because this notification that I created is triggered from a record update, um, but it could be triggered from a flow. It doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, so this table is what links those two things together. So you know that uh, this email is from this notification. Because if you go on the sys email table, uh, there's nothing to indicate which notification that email is from. So the only way to link the two is this uh, sys email log table. OK, so getting back to our business rule, the only condition on this business rule is that the include attachments from this notification record is true. Right. So in order to get that field, you have to, uh, so if we, let, let's just get rid of this and do it again. If we go in here, right, so we have, there's only a few fields in this table, and the most important ones are notification and email. So in the notification, we have to do uh, show-related fields. 
Then we go notification, notification fields. And then we can see that field that we created in the notification, include attachments from this notification record. And so that when that's true, and this is inserting, uh, after the insert, it will run what we have here in the script. And I have the uh, script outlined in the article here. Uh, you can just copy pasta right in there. So let's just take a look at it, see what it's doing. Uh, so what we're doing here is we are uh, creating a new instance of Glide's attachment. And with Glide's attachments, we're saying, hey, go get the attachments from that notification record, right? So whatever I attach to the notification record itself, it's going to go get that and stick it in this uh, ATTGR variable. So this is a, um, a Glide record object of, of potentially several uh, Glide records. So now I just loop through that, uh, at the, that uh, grouping of attachments. And here I fire up a Glide record on the sys email attachment table. So this is, and we'll take a look at this in a minute when we do a test. This is the table that stores uh, the attachments that get uh, uh, attached to emails, uh, to out outgoing, actually, I think to ingoing, in inbound emails as well. I'm not sure about that, have to, but definitely to outbound emails. Uh, so I'm just initializing it, and I am saying, uh, hey, for this first attachment, uh, the attachment field, set it to that. And the email is the email from the uh, sysemail log table. Uh, the source is notification. The content disposition is attachment. And the file name is the file name of the attachment. And we'll go look at this table in a minute uh, when we're when we launch the test. So basically, it just launches. It just uh, creates a record for each attachment um, that's uh, attached to the notification. Uh, and that's it. So then you can go create a notification. And I did that here. And on your notification, you can say uh, include attachments from this notification record. Set that to true. For this test purposes, I just put a uh, notification on the incident table. And it's going to fire basically any time an incident is updated. Again, this is just for testing purposes. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter how the record is triggered. Everything else about the notification is exactly the same. Then you just attach some. Uh, some document to the notification here i have a uh, i think it's a christmas photo of my family something like that put that on there and uh let's fire one up let's fire an incident off and see what happens so we'll go to incidents and take any one of these and we'll just change the category Okay, then I'm going to head over to the, I'll just leave it in another browser tab. I'm going to go over to the um, sysemail table. And we can see, let's see if this is it, 2304, that's me. Uh, so this is the notification that went out. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, I get the related list, the email attachments related list. So this is the sys email attachments uh, table we were looking at earlier. And here I can see that that record is attached. And let's actually open this record. So we can see the attachment is here. This is the file that was attached to the uh, notification record. And then the file name just gets the file name from that attachment. Uh, the email, and th these are the values that we set in that business rule. Uh, it's connected to the email that we saw, right? That was the parent we were just in. Source is notification. I don't know what else is. Oh, yeah, see, inbound email is the other one. So uh, this table is also used for inbound emails. And then content disposition is attachment, right? There's also inline. Of course, that, that's for uh, if you have like an HTML email. 
Uh, action reason is nothing, and action is uh, right. So no, this is for inbound, what uh, what you do with the attachments. So this is an outbound attachment. Um, so that's it. It's attached to this record. Uh, this is a PDI, so email is not turned on. We can't actually see that. But if you're on an instance uh, that has email enabled, you will be able to. Uh, you should be able to receive this email and see that the attachment is in there. So again, I will link to my uh, to the blog article where you can just uh, copy paste the script and the business rule, and uh, you should be up and running. That's how to send a generic attachment uh, with every every time a notification sends in ServiceNow.